For a long time, I was extremely insecure about my job. I'm a K through five music teacher and I always felt like my job isn't as manly because I work with kids. That couldn't be more wrong. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about how loving kids and being compassionate and empathetic to a child is the manliest thing you can do. Let's go. My name's Trevor Hunt. If you're new here, Thanks for coming. If you're not new here, welcome back. It's good to see your beautiful face. Like I said before, today we're talking about why loving kids is a manly thing you can do. Unknowingly growing up, I developed this idea that if I wasn't working on cars, fixing houses, or doing plumbing, I wasn't a real man. There's nothing further from the truth. While those jobs are manly, I think that working with children is also extremely manly. And it's super toxic to think that being kind to a child makes you a wimp or weak. I think this comes from an unhealthy idea that men are supposed to be stoic and emotionless. That couldn't be farther from the truth. Men are full of compassion and some of the manliest of men in time, Theodore Roosevelt, Jesus Christ, themselves were extremely emotional in a good way. It's good for men to show emotion. First of all, it takes strength to be vulnerable. It takes true strength to open your heart up and to love someone else. And when you love a child, you're loving them completely. Whether your father, uncle, granddad, it doesn't matter. When you show love to that child, you are opening yourself up and letting them in a place where they could hurt you. That takes strength to be brave enough to do that. Second of all, it takes courage to love a child. That may sound weird, but there's a lot of men who just ditch out on kids because they're too weak to put themselves out there to love a child. When you love children, you stand up for what you believe in. You help mentor that kid for the next generation. That is the most manly thing you can do. We have a lot of boys and a lot of girls out there who have no idea who they are because no one's guiding them. Men, that is your job. It is our job to guide those people. And I'm not just calling dads, I am a father, but I also work with kids for a living. I'm telling you, if there's a child in your life that needs a manly influence, it's your job to step up, take courage, and to lead that kid. Thirdly, loving children takes a lot of responsibility. Children aren't responsible. <laughs> They're irresponsible. You're a man. You are responsible. You have to plan to do things with them. You have to think about the things they might like to do. Don't, don't take the kid along with everything you love. Spend time doing the things they love as well. If you're gonna love a kid, you gotta be there in their lives. You gotta be consistent. You gotta be on time. Nothing grinds my gears more than when I have a student come to class on Monday and say something like this. I had a rough weekend, Mr. Hunt, because my dad was supposed to get me, but he didn't show up. I don't know why that happens. I don't know what's wrong with these dads that are doing this. I'm sure there's some mental health stuff that I don't understand. I try never to judge people or be hard on people. What I'm saying to you right now is if you're in a kid's life and you know they need a man, you better be responsible, step up to the plate, and actually be there for that child. Whether you are a grandpa, uncle, dad, teacher, cousin, or even older brother, the manliest thing you can do is love on a child younger than you. Hey, as always, I could have missed something in these videos. It's easy to make a YouTube video and to look over something or to miss say something. Let me just say one real quick thing. There are no such thing as perfect parents. There are not. So don't expect yourself to be some ungodly standard you can't reach. Your kid needs you involved, not perfect. Guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. God bless your face and your family. And as always, take it easy.